Hello there, Taurus, and welcome to your Oracle messages. I hope you guys are doing good out there. So Taurus, let's go ahead and find out. Oh, God, goodness. Okay. Okay, Taurus, don't put any decisions off. Okay. Don't say later. Make them with confidence now. Ooh, who, who, you burned somebody here because you were their karma. Let's see. So this is a time to pay attention because some of you, okay, Taurus, heaven's hands are holding you. So there's something that's really uncomfortable for a lot of you guys and spirit is comforting you at this time. Um, but be willing to make decisions. Don't put them off. Okay. Just have confidence about it. And also pay attention to um, others trying to uh, be greedy for your attention and emotions. Or for some of you, Taurus, what you may be putting your attention and emotions to that's not serving you any good. It's just uh, depleting you. Um, there's a situation, yeah, that, oh, oh, Taurus, I'm sorry. I know this is a hard situation, but you were their karma. So you had to be someone's teacher here. You had to uh, teach someone a lesson, okay? So don't fear what's the um, what's to come or what's the unknown here. There's something about you guys honoring your own value, your own gifts and abilities as well, because the situation has really taken place uh, for you to um, uncover some type of truth about what is right and good for you, okay? You know what, Taurus, I'm getting this message too, and I was getting it earlier. There's something about one month, okay? Um, something about you getting something or having something getting them from you know whatever it is it's going to be one month okay and yeah heaven's hands are holding you taurus i mean because you are a you know maybe you don't some of you you may resonate as a light worker healer you know earth angel whatever it is just know that you're, you're someone that holds light in your energy um and you're a powerful blessing to others okay um and you know, Taurus, you might even find that when people do you wrong, they, they automatically get, um, well, maybe it's automatic or it's pretty quick that, um, you know, uh, consequences are served up here. Okay. So I am getting air sign coming through Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel some of you Taurus may have, um, cut some people or a person out of your life. Um, or it was like done to you, but by, um, own choices and decisions here or whatever's gone on. But, um, the truth of it is, is that you were meant to reflect something in a person here. Okay. And, uh, part of their karma is having to, um, not have you <laughs> or, or, uh, I, I should say, maybe to lose you for the time being or forever for some of you Taurus, because, uh, you know, the thing is, is spirit wants to protect you and put you into connections that you're not being taken advantage of or feel that you're being taken advantage of. OK, so let's see what else you need to know um, about your situation, uh, Taurus. Oh, well, I didn't even <laughs> I didn't even shovel at all. And also, Taurus, this is a general reading. So if you find the messages don't resonate for you at all, check your moon, your rising, mm -hmm. your Venus signs as well. Uh, those are all, oh, excuse me, I'm getting, I'm getting mixed up because I'm reading this. Um, yeah, check your moon, your rising or your Venus signs uh, or check past messages. Those are all timeless. See this alone time as preparation time. Something new is coming into your life. And I really get this thing about one month maybe a new person. Also, um, a lot of you Taurus may be doing really fine financially. Um, so just make sure that you're giving, um, you know, your thanks to the heavens above because something, if you're not receiving it now, you know, there's something about you guys, uh, receiving, uh, plenty of material things, including money coming from the kingdom of heaven. I mean, look at this, your inheritance is coming from the the kingdom of heaven. So there's something about you guys, uh, doing some past, uh, work here. Um, there's, you know, divine energies at play. See this alone time as preparation time, because, you know, not only were you, you know, their karma, but we've got to resist or saving others. They have to learn their own lessons by not being able to, um, 
you know, have you on demand, okay? So it is what it is, right? Or whatever has happened or whatever has unfolded, allow it to continue the way it needs to. Uh, don't try to go backwards here. You are coming into um, great wealth for a lot of you Tauruses. So just stay true to, uh, you know, your own path and what's what feels right for you. The, the other thing is, <laughs> is this flow probably would have been stopped here. You know, had we continued to play um, a, a karmic game with someone, what else for Taurus? Self-love, Taurus. Yeah, this is about you guys living wild and free, uh, free to explore what you really like, what you don't like taking uh, time to take care of oneself, maybe even taking small adventures or maybe big adventures, maybe travel here, doing some solo pleasures. I am getting the Nine of Pentacles as well as Knight of Wands coming through actually, Taurus. So a lot of you are meant to experience some alone time, um, some type of freedom here uh, for you guys to give to yourself, especially if, you know, look, we, we have this message about don't allow others to be greedy for your attention and emotions, because this is about you guys giving it to yourself right now so that you're filling your cup up and feeling good about where you're headed, where you're going, um, and living wild and free, uh, living, uh, with your passions, seeing your passions and desires coming to fruition and not being afraid, having the courage to explore. Okay. So I do feel a lot of you uh, Tauruses are receiving um, some goods right now when it comes to your money or just having some resources here. Um, so give thanks and, and just know that more is to come, okay? Let's see. What else for Taurus? Hmm. Why this... Hmm. Yeah, somebody, you might have felt like someone sold out, don't you, Taurus? Yeah, that whole thing about karma and fate, you know, allowing others to uh, be in their own natural consequences from their previous choices. I do feel that there was a situation for a lot of you Tauruses where you felt someone sold out on you. You felt the betrayal, you felt the hurt. Um, and also just be, you know, be cautious of your own emotions too, right? Don't give your energy and your emotions, especially, I'm not saying to um, not honor that, you know, make sure you are taking time to honor that because you don't want to, you definitely don't want to suppress it, but um, don't give in to uh, the sadness uh, and allow it to linger for a long period of time here, okay? Um, there's some type of masterpiece that you're creating in your life and spirit wants you to um, honor what, what you guys are really feeling guided to do here. Yes, you are a light worker. You have this angelic energy about you. There's just some there's just something really good about you, your soul, your purpose, and um, spirit doesn't want you to sell out either, okay, by, you know, maybe uh, dropping your shields, lowering your standards here, going back to a situation that you know could just uh, end up going in a vicious cycle, okay? But I do feel a lot of you guys felt like someone just uh, really sold out here. Uh, what else for Taurus? Oh, yeah, there's something feeling stuck here. I am getting uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy coming through. You know, what's um, interesting, Taurus, is, you know, we've got this card of um, not selling out to sadness, right? Instead, self-love and live wild and free here, okay? Ooh, we got love. We do have something about you guys creating um, a good love situation in your life, and we even have self-love. We have wild. So there is something that spirit does not want you to even feel bound to here, so don't give up on love or the idea of love. Um, you know, we do have a true love situation here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio coming through. Let's get a little bit more about this love card here. This is the two of cups. Let's get a little bit more about this love. Oh, 
Okay, you've got some new situation. You got some new situation when it comes to uh, love. So the thing is, it you know, here it is. This is the point history is made and destiny is born. So keep releasing, okay? Keep releasing until you feel peaceful about it, where you don't feel uh, so challenged or triggered by it. Um, but when it comes to some situation in your love life, you better expect something totally brand new here. Um, because it's not a predestined thing. This is some something has been born like now when it comes to destiny and love. Okay. And I feel a lot of you um, <laughs> are destined to feel abundant when it comes to love as well. Free flowing. Okay. Because I do feel a lot of you Tauruses dealt with someone that was like greedy with their own emotions and attention for you. I'm just saying that not for all of you, but take it if it resonates. Uh, what else for Taurus? We have uh, the judgment card here, the eon. This is uh, this is about you really rising up and feeling the infinite possibility, not feeling sadness. Don't sell out to a situation where you guys feel hopeless or something is not going to release itself from you. It's going to. Okay, Taurus. Um, just know that heaven's hands are holding you. Spirit is gifting you guys what you guys need here. And it is coming from the heavens above here. Okay. So, uh, we got judgment here. We do have a, a situation. Mem remember what we're talking about? Something's not predestined. It's actually like being born right now. And with the judgment card, this is a card of resurrection. Okay. So yes, a lot of you guys are resurrecting, waking up. Um, honoring something really true and powerful for you. And a lot of you by the self-love are attracting a love situation towards you. Okay. Um, if you don't have that now, some of you, you may already be in a situation here. Um, and you need to let time, uh, take its uh, course here. Um, but you know, just don't give up on the idea of love. Okay. This is all about self-love forgiveness here. Um, what else for Taurus? Oh, wow, Taurus. Yeah, look at this. The star Aquarius energy is coming through. And look, they're really rising up and reaching up here. So I see a lot of you, Taurus, is really um, becoming a star here. Okay. And we were just talking about this is the point where history is made. Whatever has happened in the past, it's the past now. Something is destined right now, okay? And we've got this new destiny being born right now, and it's you, and it's something new to come, and it is a wish fulfillment here, okay? So it's important to keep your hope and your faith alive. It is important for you to resist saving others or dragging others from the past, especially when you know those energies um, only hinder your growth because you can feel it. Okay. What else for Taurus? Prince of Swords. Yeah, this there's something challenging here with this Prince of Swords here. So Spirit is saying don't don't be uh, <laughs> challenged by this new beginning of, you know, for some of you guys, um, doing something that could be uncomfortable, but freeing at the same time. Some of you guys may receive some type of truth here as well. Let's get a little bit more about this Prince of Swords, though. We got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Let's get a little bit more about this Prince of Swords for Taurus. I feel there's a lot of changes happening here, Taurus. So spirit is saying you guys <clears throat> might, you know, you might feel uncomfortable, but you're, you're gonna, you're gonna receive something here so that you can do something when, when it comes to multiple changes in your life, pay attention to signs. Yeah. There's something about you guys honoring these changes, um, and, and, and moving forward because I feel that a lot of you guys have some type of new perspective now as a wisdom, um, and you know, the more you guys, uh, you know, I guess see it that way or, um, continue your path, the stronger it will become the clear, the more clarity you're going to get here. So spirit is saying, yeah, pay attention to signs, Taurus. 
okay? Um, some of you guys might be challenged by this because we may be giving into, you know, um, the sadness or the things that, you know, have gone wrong or that we feel has gone wrong here, okay? Uh, but you guys are meant to have some type of change here. So you need to be in a state of observation, okay? Something new is coming towards you. Don't let it challenge you, Spirit says, because there's some th there's an advantage that you have when it comes to knowing a truth or having a, um, a perspective on something, okay? What else for Taurus? Yeah, healing. Take time to honor yourself and heal. I mean, this is about you guys. Look at that. Healing, hope, faith. You know, a lot of you uh, definitely have the healing abilities here, okay? So make sure you are taking time to tune in with um, your spirit and what's really going on. Take time to honor yourself and also give time for you, uh, for yourself to really see the true light within yourself and what's happening and where you're going, okay? I feel a lot of you guys, actually, a lot of Taurus, a lot of you Taurus, do, you know, you do something or you may even be recognized for some, some type of healing work as well. This is a powerful thing of renewal here, Taurus, okay? So it may be uncomfortable, but you're being shown the way here. What else for Taurus? Look at that, Taurus. See, this is about resurrection, rising up, becoming the star that you're meant to become here. Loving and look at that. That's even number 17 as well as the star card here. And we have beauty. Absolutely. This is about you guys really having full freedom and expressing yourself inside and out. And spirit wants you guys to really see the beauty that's um, emanating from you, Taurus. Okay. So trust in your resurrection. Um, some of you Taurus, there may be some people that could be jealous of your beauty for some, um, but you know, you don't need to, you don't need to give that much attention. My cat. <laughs> okay. Well, Zeus is really making his presence known. Um, what else for Taurus? Inner child. Yeah. Taurus. I feel that there's, you know, something strong with you guys, um, and your destiny when it comes to maybe even, um, you know, childhood dreams. But I do feel a lot of you need to tap in and to feel innocent again and, and not feel weighed down. OK, honor that inner child within you, because this is what's wanting to express out. And this can be very healing as well. OK, so um, some of you just need to come back to a place of, you know, releasing yourself from guilt or shame or, you know, whatever, you know, heavy energies that might be holding you, you know, maybe some of you, you may realize what you're holding on to, you may not. But the point is, is just coming back to that place of uh, your innocence because you're allowed to see you've been reborn here. Okay, we got the judgment card, we got the star card, you've been reborn here. So this is about you guys really tapping into that freedom, inner child freedom. Okay. What else for Taurus? Taurus, yeah, we got the Knight of Cups here. There's something strong when it comes to um, some love and romance, okay? Um, and also dreams, something dreamy here with somebody. Uh, so Taurus, we've got some action happening when it comes to you guys ex uh, feeling um, that you can trust that wild side, okay? with someone. <laughs> so some of you Taurus get ready to fall in love, uh, get ready to fall in love with your path and where you're headed as well. Okay. And spirit wants you to feel strong and feel at home no matter what, because you really are having, um, guidance from, uh, the heavens above here. And also for some of you Taurus, you know, you could perhaps get an apology with this Knight of cups as well. So, that could happen for some of you, okay? But the most important is that you guys are feeling um, a sense of strength and a sense of really um, tapping into uh, something that will make your heart feel really good and someone, okay? What else for Taurus? 
Oh, why this self-sabotage and it's landing on the star card? Don't lose hope. Yeah, the signs are showing you. Some of you guys, I don't know why I want to say for some, don't procrastinate. It's like you are seeing signs, but you might be avoiding it. So pay attention, okay? Because that could, that could sabotage the situation here. Don't ignore the signs that you guys are seeing, okay? Especially when it comes to moving on um, or healing here. What else for Taurus? Oh, entrapment. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, Taurus. <laughs> Don't get stuck in this. Let's get a little bit more. I'm getting Eight of Swords energy. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Let's get a little bit more about this entrapment for you. Oh, Taurus. See, I was getting this, this feeling of feeling stuck or... Okay, what is that? Look at that. See? The Judgment card, too. And Phoenix. I mean, this is the same. Okay. Take control of the situation because you guys have a lot more power than you realize and you really are transmuting a situation here. So be willing to not hold off and put decisions off till later. Do things right now with confidence, okay? Don't allow yourself to um, sabotage a dream to, uh, to come true, a wish fulfillment here, okay? This is about you feeling um, that you're rising, not falling down, Taurus, okay? Because you guys are going to feel free and freedom from something and someone, especially if you felt like you've, you know, you've been held back. Okay, let's see. What else for Taurus? And remember that you're beautiful. See the cat? <laughs> My cat just hit that. <laughs> See? Look. Pay attention to the signs. Zeus. <laughs> and also, look at this. You know, Taurus, you know what I want to say when I see this? Because, you know, that person um, behind them is uh, kind of faint. And so, for some of you Tauruses, listen... Your soulmate is with you spiritually, so it's going to happen physically. Just believe it, okay? Just believe it. Yes, you do have a soulmate, okay? A strong one. Look, <laughs> self-love. Uh, we had that card of love. Here it is. Mm -hmm. What else for Taurus? Queen of Swords, Taurus. So this is a time to really make decisions with confidence. Some of you guys already know what to do. There may be something about you guys revealing a true aspect of yourself or not being afraid to express yourself fully. Because um, some of you, not all of you, but maybe some, you know, you, you could be not saying what you really want to say because you're afraid to hurt others' feelings here. Um, but with this Queen of Swords, I, you know, I really do feel that this is about you guys avoiding negative p people at all costs. This is about you guys really um, honoring this profound transformation that you've gone through um, or that you're going through here. So um, expect some help too, because I keep getting this thing uh, for you with receiving some type of help, um, you know, it's spiritually, but then it manifests uh, materially as well here. So I'm seeing a situation where a lot of you Tauruses, you're meant to really shine here. You're meant to feel that you can um, express your truth, okay? Some of you Tauruses, um, you, could, you could be divorced or separated. You could be unmarried, uh, single. You could be focused on your career um, and other things right now. But the most important is... You know, you not being afraid of revealing your truth, because I do see some, this Queen of Swords is taking off her mask here, um, and look, revealing their true self and not being afraid to do so, okay? So some of you guys, you may want to um, clear out space or declutter or purify, you know, your energy here, right? It's about getting things moving, but most importantly, don't be afraid to make decisions, what else, especially when it comes to getting rid of old things or, you know, negative things? Let's see what this is. Oh, look at that. I was just talking about clearing out this space, and we have creativity. We have imagination, right? We even have this card of being wild here. So we're clearing out the clutter. We're clearing out the space. Um, we're getting clear. 
uh, about what's really going on so that we can give into situations um, that actually inspire, that's creative, that's imaginative, okay? So a lot of you Taurus need to believe that you'll, um, you'll also be supplied for endlessly, okay, uh, when you trust and believe. So some of you Taurus, uh, with the healing as well, you know, whether this is your work or healing for yourself, uh, diving into this can do wonders. Let's see. Sorry about my cat. He's... <laughs> Okay, let's see. What else for Taurus? Spiritual maturity. Yeah, Taurus, you're meant to be with... Uh, it's because you guys are really mature here. Yeah, you're meant to be with someone that's got and holds spiritual maturity here so that you're not feeling alone walking this path, okay? Um, and it's only a matter of time, Taurus. So... Um, you know, some, you know, for some of you, Taurus, you know, you just need to hear that your patience is paying off here. Okay. I want a little bit more with the spiritual uh, maturity for you, Taurus. There's definitely been an eye on you, Taurus. And I don't know if this is a secret admirer or, I mean, I definitely know that spirits always got their eye on you. The heavens do, but... There's something about someone observing and watching you. Let's get a little bit more with this spiritual maturity. Okay. Yeah, you're meant to have a balanced kind of union here. Okay. So don't worry about what's gone on in the past here. Because where you're headed is what's important. Um, so look at this. Yin yang. I mean, we got spiritual maturity. We got this nice balance, this nice flow here. And it just works well. It works naturally, effortlessly here, okay? So there is a strong sense of um, the right compatible uh, energy for you or energies. So when it comes to a soulmate, when it comes to, or a fellow, fellow traveler for some of you guys, uh, whatever it is, it is going to be the perfect balance for you, okay? And I'm just seeing a thing about like mutual love and respect totally, Sorry about my cat. What else for Taurus? Yeah, it's uncomfortable, but know that spirit is absolutely uh, guiding you through it. So fill in the gaps with a new routine. Maybe there's something that you guys want to do or explore. Um, be willing to write things out, maybe uh, a new, like a way that you guys want to wake up to, okay, and, and have some type of new routine for yourself. Um, because spirit is, yes, yeah, spirit knows that some, some stuff's really uncomfortable, but pay attention to signs, be willing to fill in the gaps with a new routine, do something new, okay. Don't give in to um, observing and watching things that just make you guys feel bad or go into the past. Um, what else for Taurus? Knight of Dis, see, Taurus, look at you. You're being strong. Some of you guys, there, there's something strong with this uh, Knight of Discs, though. This is almost probably like the king. Um, I, I just get the sense that there's something about you guys having patience um, and trusting. Uh, there is something and someone reliable here. And here you are, too, Taurus. So there's something about you guys, um, I don't know, even protecting what you've built so far for some of you guys, because it's worth protecting. Um, and a lot of you, you might be feeling like you're moving uh, slowly, but you are moving at a steady pace, at the right pace, okay? And there is someone that's trustworthy for you too, um, Taurus. And I do feel a lot of you, uh, for those Tauruses that are questioning their career path or their work, you are um, on a reliable path, okay? I feel that there's someone that's definitely wanting to protect and defend you as well. This, this Knight of Disc actually feel, looks like he has nunchucks, doesn't it? Well, okay, anyhow. So maybe some of you guys, you um, you might be getting into fitness. Maybe there's something here with, you know, uh, martial arts or something for some of you guys or learning some type of new thing when it comes to 
fitness, um, you know, those kind of <laughs> deals. Uh, let's see, what else for Taurus? Hmm. Yeah, I do feel that there's let go right now of anything here of any type of control. Some of you Taurus, you may be ha trying to figure things out. I would say try not to sway an outcome. Um, maybe there is some wishful thinking. Maybe some of you guys, you, you've already realized something that's gone on here in the past or you're dealing with this because I'm seeing you guys having to step into that Queen of Swords energy and uh, cut the strings off of whatever you feel controlled by, okay? So there may have been a lot of manipulation role-playing because somebody just uh, was afraid to reveal their real self here, okay? But I feel a lot, see, this is the thing. Look at this, look at this. Don't allow others to be greedy for your attention and your emotions, okay? So some of you guys, you might be feeling like you're ruminating and you might feel like they have control over you. The more you guys feel that way and give it to it, then you are giving them that power. And it's not to say that it's bad or good, but um, you're stronger than you realize, okay? So some of you, I'm not saying that you're in this right now, but um, you're letting go of some type of uh, control in one's life and it's a good, uh, it's a good release, okay, Taurus? This is all about, this is a, you know, the only thing that can happen is, is in this small, small, tiny box, because we're controlling and trying to sway an outcome where with the star card energy, the universe is vast and endless. So you have <laughs> better things, better chances. Okay, let's see. What else for Taurus? Jealousy never wins. So Taurus, there's nothing that you guys need to feel that you need to compete over. You're beautiful inside and out. The other thing is, is there could have been someone or people jealous of you and it's not going to win, right? It's karma and fate. It's playing out, right? Resist saving others. Okay. Someone needs to feel what they've done. They need to go through their own lessons. And also if you're coming from a place too, um, of jealousy or envy, it never wins. It really doesn't. Okay. And that for some of you, that's what could have been controlling you. Cause maybe for some, you could have been, um, you know, manipulated and, you know, for some, you could have had someone that wanted to make you jealous, uh, cause they feed off of that. Uh, what else for Taurus? Family and tribe. See, you got to trust. This is about you guys having the right balance, spiritual maturity, yin yang, family, tribe. So pay attention to, you know, your family and the tribe that you do have right now. Um, for some of you, maybe you don't feel like you have that, but you're coming into this. Okay. You just need to honor and have patience because it is happening for you, Taurus. And you really are rising up, um, in great spiritual maturity here. So I do feel that there's something going on for a lot of you Taurus with having respect for something that you guys believe and stand for as well. What else for Taurus? Oh, that's it. Okay. Let's, uh -huh. let's find out how spirit is helping you then Taurus. How is spirit helping Taurus? I feel like spirit's trying to help you guys rise up here, get moving, right? Having faith. Look at this. This kind of looks like hair font energy to me, but have faith. Spirit is helping you guys with that. Look at that, the star card here. Okay. So don't give up. Don't give up. You don't give up. Spirit doesn't give up. Spirit is doing things right now, um, lining things up, giving you guys signs to build your faith in a situation, Taurus. Because you really have completed something. I mean, look, her back is towards something here and she's moving away. I want to find out how else spirit is helping you, Taurus. How else is spirit helping Taurus? With abundance and three of cups. Oh, with joy 
and a strong significant thing with soulmate family um, family and tribe here <laughs> rejoicing having fun maybe getting out and doing things okay love happiness good times and of course abundance Remember, we were talking about your inheritance is coming from the kingdom of heaven, Taurus. Ooh. So trust that you guys are really on the right path. I know that being someone's karma is really tough, but um, there's something important for you guys to continue with your path. And don't worry, Taurus, when it comes to having a mature companion in your life, you're going to get it. Okay. So I hope that was helpful. Love and light. Take care.